My name is Ed Gavigan. I came into contact with the criminal justice system after being stabbed one night. I was walking down the street, and it was about 2 a.m. Three guys uh, with knives just um, jumped on me without a word and just uh, began stabbing me. The guy on the right had a knife with a 10-inch blade, and it just went in behind my collarbone, plunged all the way up to the hilt. I couldn't believe that this was happening to me, and I just started to scream. I never talked to any doctor who can believe that I made it. And I was missing, you know, a dozen feet of my intestines, and I was walking with a cane, and I couldn't eat or go to the bathroom the way I used to. The stress of that um, combined with the, the flashbacks and um, the nightmares made it really hard to be a functioning person. People would say, how you doing? And I'd say, well, I'm, I'm very lucky, you know? And then I wouldn't say, I can't sleep. I haven't slept in four days, or I'm terrified. Or when I ride the subway to a meeting and um, three uh, Puerto Rican kids get on the train, um, I know they're probably not going to hurt me. But there's a part of my brain that is freaking out. I was just really angry at everybody else who I saw going along in their day-to-day -day life who had no idea that they could just lose it all. My first thought, I actually did think this, that I will go there and kill that kid. I, I would play it out in my head I'm gonna confront this kid, and I'm gonna have this powerful rage, and I'm gonna express how he's damaged my health, my family, my sense of being in the world, how he's ruined my business and, and made me afraid of, of living in New York City. And as I played that in my head, I imagined this kid just looking back at me with, uh, with a sneer, just like, yeah, so you have a shitty life now, mister. I've always had a shitty life. As I kept working on what I was gonna say, it became more and more important to me to convey to him uh, to convey this idea that we were each gonna get a second chance. If I had died, he would be going to prison for murder. And because I didn't die, he was only going to be charged with attempted murder. I wanted to say to him, on the day you walk out of prison, you're going to walk out of prison 10 years early, not because of anything that you did. Um, you failed to kill me. I said, on the day you walk out, I would like you to remember today and realize that as bad as it has been, because I don't think it's going to be great where you're going. Uh, you, you are now getting 10 years handed back to you. And uh, you should do something with that. I, I'd want him to learn a trade and, uh, and have, a, have a real job. And, and have a life. And, uh, you know, maybe get married and have a kid. I'm not sure why it makes me so sad to say that, but that's what I'd want.